Incredible places to see in South America. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. South America is home to 420 million people across 6,890,000 miles. In all that space, South America really does have it all. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss our brand new content. Iguazu Falls, Brazil, Argentina. On the border of Brazil and Argentina is a waterfall like nothing else on Earth. It's a series of 275 waterfalls cascading along the Iguazu River. It's a stunning sight no matter which side you're visiting from. There's a catwalk that allows visitors to walk over the falls on a bridge across one of the most breathtaking parts of the falls called the Devil's Throat. Head to the Brazil side if you want to get the full picture as it offers the best panoramic views. Eje Cafetero, Colombia. When in Colombia, the home of coffee, you can't miss out on spending time at a coffee plantation. There's a rich history, almost as rich as the local roasts, you can sample right at the plantations. The areas most famous for their plantations as well as their old world charm are Salento, Finlandia, and Pihau. These areas boast lush green mountainsides full of adventure activities like biking, horse riding, kayaking, and canopy tours. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia. You might have already seen a hundred Instagram photos of Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia without actually realizing it. This giant salt flat is the world's largest and creates a surreal reflection of the sky in its mirrored surface. It goes on further than the eye can see and totals 10,000 square kilometers of unending reflection. It's a favorite for photographers constantly coming up with new ways to use the reflection artistically and create mind-flipping images. Isla del Sol, Bolivia. The Island of the Sun, or Isla del Sol, is not just a mythical place. It's a real island, 3,500 meters above sea level within the massive Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca is high up in the Andes Mountains, and it's the highest navigable lake in the world with the largest surface area. The Island of the Sun is home to the Quechua and Aymara people who still honor their traditions and preserve their languages. The first recorded inhabitants on the island were around 5,000 thousand years ago. The island gets its name from the belief that the sun god was born here. Iquitos, Peru. Iquitos is one of the great cities to explore the Amazon forest. There are plenty of tours that go out from the city. To get to Iquitos, you will need to travel by boat or plane, so that in itself is an adventure. Leave yourself enough time to explore the markets and rubber factories in the area. In the forests, you are sure to spot monkeys, tarantulas, caimans, piranhas, sloths, and hundreds of birds, plus tropical plants of every shape and size. Cusco, Peruvian Andes. Cusco is an ancient town in the Peruvian Andes Mountains and was originally the capital of the Incan Empire. It's because of this ancient history that it's also known as the birthplace of the world. It is a mix of Spanish colonial architecture meets the fine engineering of Inca stonemasons. Cusco is also where you can see the Baroque Santo Domingo convent, which was the original site of the Incan Temple of the Sun, and the convent was built right on top of it. Some of the archaeological remains of Inca stonework of the Temple of the Sun are still here. One of the sites nearby Cusco that's recently become a popular attraction is the Rainbow Mountains. This part of the Andes Range and this section of the mountain gets its color from sedimentary mineral layers in the mountain that have been exposed by erosion. It is still a fairly new attraction and guides are ironing out the kinks, but here are a few pointers. It's not recommended to attempt it during rain, and the colors are arguably not as vibrant when it's overcast. It's a three-hour hike on foot after your tour bus gets as close as it can, and the conditions can be cold and muddy, so go prepared. Santa Teresa Hot Springs, Cusco. While in the Cusco area, visit the nearby hot springs for a deep wind down in the heated waters. The hot springs have three main pools heated around 40 degrees Celsius with natural waters with healing and medicinal qualities. They are thought to heal skin ulcers, bone pains, and rheumatism, and are wonderful for hikers' aches and pains if you just tackled Machu Picchu. While you immerse yourself in the natural waters, you are surrounded by views of nearby mountains and the Urubamba River. The whole thermal complex is perched hundreds of meters above sea level. If you can't handle the heat of the water, cool off in the natural cold water that comes from the nearby Uripata Lagoon. Swing at the end of the world, Ecuador. 
This swing isn't the kind from your playground memories. This swing isn't playing around at all. It swings you over a drop of 2,600 meters above sea level. Your rear is perched on a narrow wooden plank and you will feel fear and freedom, the likes of which no playground could ever evoke. This daredevil swing offers breathtaking views of a volcano while your feet dangle over a steep slope below. Perhaps it is the lush surrounds of the La Casa del Arbol or the fact that you lived to see another day, but the experience is rated magnificent by everyone who tries it. Angel Falls, Venezuela Venezuela packs a punch in terms of tourist locations, and Angel Falls is a great example. Forget Niagara and Victoria Falls, Angel Falls is the highest waterfall in the world at a height of 3,230 feet. It crashes down a mountain face, dropping 20 times the height of Niagara Falls. Take a river cruise to see it, or a flight tour, or if you're adventurous, hike the rainforests and climb the canyon to reach the source. Liquid Rainbow, Colombia. Canyon Cristales has many nicknames like Liquid Rainbow or River of Five Colors, but no matter what you call it, it's an original sight to behold. Basically, the river is filled with brightly colored marine plant life that turns its waters into bright and beautiful colors. The colors change with the season. A favorite season from June to November turns the plant life from green to bright pink and red. The water is safe and clean, and you can enjoy a dip in the rainbow if you wish. Diamond Plateau, Brazil Most visitors to Brazil enjoy the coastal beach life of the country, but inland Brazil hides many incredible places to see. One is Diamond Plateau, which hides two of the most beautiful caves in the world inside its mountain. One cave is filled with water, intense blue and crystal clear that spills out into two pool caves called Blue Pool and Enchanted Pool. Visitors can swim in the still emerald deeps of the caves with a golden rock surrounding them, reflecting like a mirror on the water below. It is 20 meters deep, so join a tour group and take a dip. The other cave worth visiting is Torina Cave, the biggest cave in Brazil. Its huge chamber is filled with ancient rock formations, which you can explore with flashlights on a guided tour. Perito Moreno Glacier, Argentina This glacier is not only beautiful, but it is also critical to our survival. Get a glimpse of it and you will appreciate its scale, but to understand its importance, you might need some facts. It is so important because it is the third largest freshwater reserve in the world. So it's not just a natural phenomenon or a tourist attraction, but a global asset too. If you are lucky, you'll be around to see the spectacle of the glacier cracking and hear a chunk of ice booming as it falls into the water below. Don't worry, that's a natural phenomenon. The Perito Moreno Glacier is growing and one of the few advancing glaciers in the world. Salvador de Bahia, Brazil. This is truly a unique culture found on the coast of Brazil. The history of Salvador is a mixed one because it was a main slave port of the Portuguese empire. Now, the African descendants have made Salvador their home and added a vibrant flavor of African culture here. The colorful houses run down the steeply sloping streets of the city and echo the mix of African culture and colonial architecture in a fused history. The city boasts original cuisine with strong African-influenced foods. Vibrant festivals happen often with drumbeats pounding out rhythms as colorful costumed locals parade against the backdrop of colonial buildings. You'll find it easy to catch one as they happen almost daily in this pulsating heart of the country's Afro-Brazilian community. Another common attraction is the religious aspect of African culture at Candomblé ceremonies, where crowds of faithful celebrate their African gods, or visit the gold-filled ceilings of the traditional Portuguese-built churches for an all-around cultural experience. Las Lajas Sanctuary Ipiales. This has to be one of the most astounding buildings in the world and is considered an outstanding monument to modern architecture. The Roman Catholic Basilica is near Ipiales in Colombia, and the current building is fairly modern, built between 1916 and 1949. It's not where the history began, though, and it stems from 1754. An Amerindian woman and her daughter were caught in a storm and hid in the gorge for shelter. The mom saw an apparition of the Virgin Mary. She claims that when the storm passed, her deaf and mute daughter could hear and speak. The first shrine was erected between 756 and 1764 and a chapel built in 1795. It's often called a miracle of God in the abyss. What makes it so astounding is not only its grand scale, but the way it spans across a deep canyon rising 100 meters above the canyon floor. It connects the two sides of the ravine with a 50 meter footbridge. 
Even more remarkable is that it was entirely financed by local churchgoers. It's classed as one of the most beautiful churches in the world. Have you ever visited South America? If so, what was one of your highlights? Share it with me in the comments below. 1. Salento, Colombia Take a quick drive from the city of Armenia or Pereira to Salento, which sits in the Coffee Triangle. It's a quaint, beautiful little town that will lead you to the big draw card of the area, the Kokora Valley Hike. This hike is phenomenal as it's one of the few places on Earth where you can witness gorgeous, towering wax palms reach heights of 60 meters. From the hike, you can head to Akaime or the Hummingbird House, which is a hummingbird sanctuary. You will be blown away by the variety of beautiful hummingbirds and it will cost you 5,000 pesos to enter, which also gets you a free drink. Salento is part of coffee country, so it will be unforgivable if you journey that far and don't go to a coffee farm or two. Indulge in the huge varieties of local blends and enjoy learning about the blending process. Everything from seed to cup.